something, Reese? Like what, for instance? Like the sounds of my boots, for instance, that you're supposed to be breaking in for me. Oh, come on. Will you, Chad? Have a heart. That's all I've been doing for the last three hours. I know, and if you keep it up, pretty soon it'll be soft enough for me to wear. Yeah? Well, what makes you think I'm going to last that long? You got the ten dollars you owe me? You know blame well I ain't. Then you'll last. Keep walking. But, Chad, they're killing me. Reese, you ought to thought about that before you offered to work off the ten dollars. Now, the way I see it, we got a ride herd on Morales anyway, and that's just the thing to keep you awake and on your toes. On my toes, on my toes. What toes? The worn clean off. Clean up the ankles. Uh... Here he comes. I don't know about Senor Morales. Well, Senor Cooper, I, I thought you were asleep. Well, I uh, can't afford to do that as long as you're awake, it seems. Well, I was just going over to the livery stable, but there is no reason for you to come along. Yeah, except for Captain Parmley. He'd have our scalp if we let you out of sight for a minute. I think we'd better walk along. Why don't you look where you're going, you lop-eared coyote? Well, I'm, I'm sorry. We were just headed for the... Lop-eared? Me? Yeah. Uh... Why don't you run along ahead while I while I teach this Yahoo some manners? All right, but don't uh, don't scuff up my new boots, huh? Now, as I was saying. <laughs> a little tight around the shoulders. Could you check the chest measurements? Joe! Joe, you gotta come quick. Reese is swapping punches with four of John LeBeck's men. It's all right, Norton. You won't hurt him too bad. Might as well quit now, Joe. I only got a little to go. You're the one that's gonna lose, friend. Double the bet. All right. Fifty dollars. Don't go away, my dear. I'll be back in a moment. Well, how much longer are we going to wait, Senor Morales? Hmm? Why did LeBec want to meet you here instead of the hotel? When one is forced to deal with gun runners, senor, it is wise not to ask too many questions. Yeah. One moment, Morales. I do not understand, senor LeBec. You know the money is not on my person. You cannot receive it until the guns are delivered to my forces in Mexico. <laughs> Twelve hundred Wadista dollars. Why should I settle for that when Maximilian has offered five thousand for your head? cash you got? Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll be back to pick up that money later, huh?
I thought you and Chad were watching Morales. Yeah, we are. Chad just walked him over to the stable. Oh, no. This must have been a setup. Come on. I don't know. They got him. I'll kill him for sure. Or oh, are we in the soup with the captain for this? Yeah. I hope you're all real proud of yourselves. The federal government offers political asylum to one of the most important Mexican rebel leaders. And you let Lebex hoodlums drag him back to Maximilian. Right under your noses. Well, now, I wouldn't say that, sir. Not exactly. Uh, you see, Chad here was flat on his face, and I would just... And you were sucking into a street brawl to give him a perfect cover-up. Now, try explaining that to Washington when they start asking why Maximilian is still on the throne. Or to Juarez when he starts asking why one of his top lieutenants is heading for a firing squad, courtesy Texas Rangers. Well, now, that ain't fair, Captain. They can't blame the whole darn outfit just because I... Uh, 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 Chad and me, uh, I mean, the four of... Boy, we sure got the outfit in some mess, huh? Oh, we finally agree on something. Now, according to our information... Morales is being taken to a royalist prison at Nuevo Leon to await execution. That execution had better not take place. Am I coming through loud and clear? Oh, yes, sir, Captain. You're loud, real loud. I mean, clear? When do we leave, Captain? As soon as you can saddle up. Now, there's a cantina on the outskirts of Nuevo Leon called Las Flores. Oh, our Easter agent will contact you there. Now move. Well, that's a cantina Captain Parmley meant all right. That's pretty fair thinking, Reese. <laughs> yeah, it sure is, Reese, considering that's the only one around. And the sign says Las Flores. <laughs> okay, fellas, now you had your little joke, now what? Now we meet our contact. Uh, yeah, or walk into a trap and get our head shot off. I suggest one of us reconnoiter. Uh, who's the shortest be? straw, gentlemen? All right, that's fair enough. Let me see. How about you, Eric? I lose. Must be my unlucky day. About time you lost something. Oh, uh, if I'm not back in 15 minutes, have them bury me in this shirt. The ladies feel I look best in blue. We'll do that. Well, if that don't beat all. Yeah, there's a good-looking woman in that cantina. Huh? Now, how do you know that? Well, Eric clipped his straw. And there's nothing but a woman that would make him volunteer. Well, what do you know about that? Hold on, sir. Now, just because she's pretty doesn't mean she's on our side. That's right, Chad. That's right. He could be walking into a whole mess of trouble. Well, the thought of that does cheer me up so. Uh, meanwhile, Reese, I don't hear them boots getting any softer. Oh, come on, Chad. Oh, come on, Reese. Cerveza, por favor. I'm sorry, senor. We have no more beer. All right. Tequila. We have no more tequila either. Well, then you tell me, what have you got? Perhaps uh, you care to settle for this, senor. <laughs> I must say, you do have a way of making a gentleman feel at home. This is a bad sample of Mexican hospitality, amigos. You have the look of a man who come here to this country to sell his gun to Maximilian. Me? Well, you are making a mistake. We have learned it is safer to bury our mistakes. Now, gentlemen, it is my turn to ask the question. Drop the gun, senor. I said drop it. So... You still thrive on trouble, Senor Hunter. Life without excitement is like love without a woman. Boring. 
If I remember correctly, your life is seldom boring. Why rely on memory, Carmela? Why do you come to Nuevo Leon? I am here to help Morales. You do not believe me. Should I? You've never had trouble lying to women before. Ah, but it's true. You see, I have joined the Texas Rangers since we parted company. You? A ranger? Well, is it uh, so incredible? Eric Hunter taking orders, earning $40 a month when one pair of his fancy boots costs more than that? It is not the easiest story to swallow. Well, let us pretend I joined in order to help my adopted country maintain law and order. <laughs> more than likely, you are running from half the husbands in the world and their wives. Oh, you were always willing to believe the best in me. Now, if you may return to business, I am here to contact... Carmela, you must be my contact. What makes you think that? In Mexico City, you worked for Juarez. If you remembered that, Corocito, this could surely be a trap. Oh, Carmela, my love, if you believe that I work for Maximilian, then shoot me. If you believe that I am a ranger, then confide in me, but please do one or the other. It is bad manners to keep an old friend standing so long. We have much to talk about. It's always been a pleasure to contact you, Carmela. We heard there were four rangers. Not one. There are. But why bring the others in so soon? You did not even bother to say goodbye. Then why bother to say hello? No. Chad, how could you have such a big head with such small feet? Even my blisters got blisters. Joe. Take a look at the cantina. I don't see anything. This is what I mean. Eric's been down there more than ten minutes now. Come on, Reese. Let's go. Start earning your pay. Well, what in thunderation you think I've been doing ever since we left Laredo? <laughs> Everybody's taking real easy now, huh? Well, ain't no telling what we're gonna find in there. Chad? Huh. Oh, no! Oh, it's getting so a man can't have any privacy. Well, the least you could do is uh, shut the door. I got a good mind to slam it right over your head. Boy, if this won't peel the skin off a pole cat. All this time, us out there playing squat tag in that cactus patch, and you're in there taking a bath. What's wrong with that? Well, for one thing, it ain't even Saturday night. And for another, we do have a job to do. Yes, we were just discussing that. We? Who's we? Gentlemen, may I present Senorita Alvarez, our contact in this quaint pueblo. Chad Cooper. Encantado, Senorita. Joe Riley and our Howdy, pet bullfrog, Reese Bennett. My pleasure, senores. Now, if you would please stand back. Ah, marvelous. Reese, I think one should try taking a bath. You'll really like it. Ha, ha, ha. Now, suppose we get down to business. All right. Now, Morales is in prison at Mervo Leon. Carmela will take us out to look it over at siesta time when most of the men are asleep. Frenchy, eight men and an officer. It is the Commandante, Captain de Clare. He is the one who pays you all to kidnap Morales. Mm. Is there any other way out of here? No, oh, no, not without being seen. Yes, great. Trapped in a lady's boudoir. I've heard of dying with your boots on, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> Do 
You do. Search the cantina. The rest of you follow me. Do you always burst into a lady's room, Captain? A matter of extreme urgency, I assure you. Charming. Quite charming. One would hardly expect to find such comfortable quarters in a cantina. Surely you did not come here to make pleasant conversation. Frankly, no. Four rangers crossed the border today. Their tracks led in this direction. Why are you telling me this? Oh, come, come, come. There's no need for us to play games, Carmela. I'm well aware that your sympathies lie with the Juaristas. <laughs> Even if what you suspect were true, would I be fool enough to hide them here? For your sake, I would hope not. All spies are shot. And killing you would be rather a pity. Nevertheless, I must insist on searching your quarters. <laughs> Look where you lie, Captain. Meanwhile, my bath is getting cold. You're a beautiful woman, Carmela. I could do much for you if you would face the facts. The fact is, Captain, you are keeping me from my bath. Now, if you have finished your inspection... Mm. Now listen to me, Carmela. There is no need for us to be enemies. Can't you understand? Resistance to Maximilian is futile. The rebels are without guns, without food, even, even without hope. There is always hope. As long as there are men like Juan Morales and Benito Juarez. And now for the last time, will you leave? If you insist, senorita. But we both know that Benito Juarez cannot exist without Juan Morales. And Morales will be executed at high noon tomorrow. Muchísimas gracias. Mm. You're uh, quite a woman. Uh, we ought to know we was hiding behind her. And I don't mind admitting it was getting mighty uncomfortable. Especially when she started to run out of ammunition. <laughs> well, we bought ourselves a little time. Wish I could say the same for Morales. It is hopeless. How can we possibly rescue Morales with the execution scheduled for noon? Why not do the next best thing? To rescue him after the execution. Buenas tardes, Senor Morales. You seem strangely calm for a man who's about to face a firing squad. When there is so little time, a man cannot afford to waste one minute. A letter for my family. I would rest easier if I knew they would receive it after... What if I should tell you it was within my power to commute your sentence? I would ask your price. Merely the cessation of your activities on behalf of the rebels. But your firing squad will take care of that, yes? I think you want much more. The Emperor is a generous man. All he asks is that you join him in rebuilding Mexico. Ah, who's Mexico, Capitano? Maximilians are the Mexico of Juarez and the people. They are one and the same, or could be, with the help of men like you. As a figurehead to pacify the peons while Maximilian grinds them even further into the dirt. Certain concessions might be made. Now think of it, senor. You will be of little value to your people in the grave. Maybe so. But there will be others to take my place. And even death is better than life without honor. That's your final answer. Did you really expect another? No. Not really. At any rate, you leave me no choice. The execution will take place as scheduled. Good day, senor. Or should I say goodbye? At 
That's the only way into or out of Nuevo León. No, we can't go through. Let's go over. All right, on. stop John and move. Gotta unload and reload those rifles with blanks before the siesta's over. Will you watch where you're going? I am. I am watching where I'm going. These dang blame boots of yours are so tight, I got dizzy and lost my balance. Will you be quiet? I'm sorry, senorita. There is no one allowed during siesta. Oh, but I have a bottle of rare wine for Captain Duclair. Well, I will see that he gets it as soon as I am off duty. Give it to me. I do not think that the captain would appreciate the delay. You see, he requested me to bring it to him in person. Say, la vie. It is the same everywhere. The officers get the loaf. We get the crumbs. Down, down, down. them sentries. We have all the cover we want when we need it. Just wait.
easy to pass him up. Frank, they're gonna know something. Someday you're gonna have to go and get it. Be quiet. Go on. That is your specialty, isn't it? We'll discuss my virtues later. We're running out of siesta time. Carmel. Hello, Captain. You know, I have been thinking of what you said. And uh, I really see no reason why we cannot be friends. I admire your judgment. As much as your beauty. I think it will be more private in here. Pursuit, sir. No, 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 no. It might be a trick to draw us into an ambush of Juaristas. If they were Juaristas. Well, here we are, right back where we started. If only that captain hadn't have fired that pistol. Well, lucky for me, it was the blanky shot. He's using real bullets now. When he fires a good grouse to Mao Morales is a dead man. We just gotta find another way to get him out of that compound.
Must be a patrol looking for us. No, no, it is Maximilian's couriers on their way back to Mexico City. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? Oh, yeah, it's a thrill of a lifetime. You see, it's perfect. Now, the class pistol is the only thing that stands in our way. Now, what if the Claire is not the one who fires the coup de grace? What if he is outranked by a visiting officer, a gallant and sophisticated French officer like myself? You? No, we. Oui. Major General Eric Hunter, à votre service, mes amis. Of course, with a blank cartridge in his pistol. <laughs> it's just crazy enough to work. Oh, you guys been sitting out in the sun too long. Where are you going to get uniforms? They are being delivered courtesy of the Emperor Maximilian. French won't go through for a little glass of wine. Well, I hope you're happy, because it don't look to me like any of these three uniforms down here are going to fit me. Reese, we have something special in mind for you. Like what? Reese, you are going to be the key to this entire plan. Yeah. Well, I don't know what you got in mind, but I'm telling you right now, Chad Cooper, I ain't going to do it. I ain't going to do it, I'm telling you. I won't do it, and that's my last words right now. Well, why don't you look at it this way, Reese? At least you won't have to be wearing my tight boots anymore. No. Sure do admire your taste in shoes, ma'am. Now you cut out that man's stuff, so help me, Reese, Joe. Reese, now that ain't very ladylike. Now listen, Reese, even with these forged orders, somebody has to warn Morales what they're up to. But this is ridiculous, me, me wearing this feminine, feminine junk. I will not do it. Besides, there just ain't no way I can go through with this. I ain't got enough hair to look like a female. Ha, ha, ha. You know, you know, he, he is right about that. I mean, he can't go in like that. You bet I can. Yeah, it's sure bad you don't have uh, long hair, Reese, or, or even a wig, because if you did, you'd do it, would you? I sure would, Joe. You're right, I would. But if there's one thing I'm sure of, they couldn't find a wig within 50 miles of here. <laughs> Now, I'm warning you, if we ever get out of this mess alive, ever get out of this mess, so help me. And I hear anybody in Laredo talking about Reese. this. Uh, what? You have our word. Now, oh, Reese, pull down your dress. You wouldn't want anyone to think you're that kind of a girl, would you? Your coat is ready, Major. It's a fast promotion. And a perfect fit. Uh, I hope those forged orders work. They'll have to. They're the only ones we have. I put one blank in here. That gonna be enough? If we don't pull this off, we'll need all the live bullets we've got. After you, madam.
Tell your commandant, Major Laurence from headquarters is here. Captain Henri Duclair, at your service, Major. I am Raoul Laurence, adjutant to the Emperor Maximilien. My orders, Captain. It is not often this humble post is graced by such a dignitary. At the moment, this post is no longer a humble one. The eyes and ears of all Maximilian's forces are turned here. You are about to execute an important adversary. Well, that is why you've come here, to witness the death of Juan Morales. Uh, more than that, Captain. I have been sent to personally escort the body back to Mexico City. Isn't it uh, a little unusual, Major? Do you doubt my orders, Captain? Certainly not, but... Well, then, let us not waste our time discussing the matter. There are more important things to be done. The Emperor requests that I bring this woman with me. She is the Signora Morales, the condemned man's wife. The Emperor has granted her the privilege of spending the few remaining moments with her husband. How very civilized of the Emperor. Is he any different from the rest of his French? Well said, Major. Guard, take this woman to the prisoner. Allow me, beautiful lady. Take the guard's hand, senor. It's all right. The execution takes place in little less than an hour, Major. Perhaps I could offer you something to drink in the meantime. I uh, have one last bottle of Chateau Lafitte, a uh, 39. 39. A fair year. A little too much rain and perhaps not enough sunshine. But at least it's French. <laughs> It's a pleasure to see a real woman for a change, senora. These men here, they like skinny things, but me, I like a woman. I have the night free, senora, and a bottle of real American whiskey. Oh, très bon, oui. I'll be good to you. With a wife like that, Morales should be happy. We're killing him. Well, what do you suppose that was all about? Must ask Reese for a date. <laughs> you do have an imagination, boy. You must forgive these glasses, Major, but it seems there isn't a single claret glass in this whole wretched country. I'll have to speak to the Emperor about it when I return. Tell me, Major, exactly how well do you know Maximilian? How well does any man know Maximilian? Mm -hmm. Fascinating man. Plays an exceptional game of chess, I'm told. Naturally, being such a close associate, you're forced into a little contest with him now and then, I suppose. That is to say, Maximilian's passion for the game would hardly permit him to surround himself with anyone who could not afford a little competition, would it? We've played an occasion. Well, then I shan't be embarrassed in asking you. I have a rather interesting problem set up here. Now, if you were playing a master like Maximilian, what would be the next move? of the white. Very simple, Captain. 
I would move my queen here and destroy his knight. Thus placing your king in check with a single move by your opponent. You must forgive me, Major, but I would hardly call that intelligent. Absolutely correct, Captain. Not at all intelligent. But you asked me how I would play the problem if I were facing Maximilian. Now, this is the move I would make if I were facing someone like you. And now you are in check, sir. Checkmate in two moves. Your ability at chess is exceeded by your knowledge of politics. My congratulations, Major. And may I compliment you on your precaution. We have been warned that Texas Rangers might try to save Morales. I will impress the Emperor with your vigilance. I shall be grateful. Oh, not at all. We take great pleasure in promoting alert officers. It's time for the execution. Come, Major. You'll surely want to witness it. With the Captain's permission, I would ask one favor. Anything you wish, sir. The coup de grace. May I fire the last shot? Oh, I'm sorry, but that's most unusual. The Emperor is very concerned with human suffering. He prefers to have men of compassion and understanding near him. Now, naturally, this is not a command, but I know that he would appreciate if I... Very well, sir. After all, you do outrank me. It's no most problem. No, thank you, Captain. I prefer to use my own. Do you wish the blindfold? No. I have no last words except Viva Juarez. Place the body in the coffin and prepare to move out. Hurry up before the back spots us. I will tell the Emperor of your cooperation, Captain. It will go well on your record. Thank you, Major. Oh! Pardon, Madame. Let me help you, madam. Safe journey, Major. May we meet again. You are standing in my way, monsieur. So, monsieur Lebec, you've come to witness the execution, huh? Or was it to collect your reward? These are not soldiers, they're Texas Rangers!
There's the border, Senor Morales. Are you sure you will not change your mind and stay with us? No, my work in Laredo is done. Let other men now buy the guns. I go to join Juarez. Thank you and goodbye, senores. All Mexico is grateful for what you have done. Hey, I just remembered. Today's Thursday. The last day I gotta wear these fool boots of yours. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh! 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 What's the matter? Oh, my feet are so swelled up it won't come off. <laughs> and I don't think it ever is going to neither. Well, then I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be generous and make you a deal. I'll sell them to you for 30 bucks. $30? Yeah. Why, you money-grubbing skin flint, you only paid 20 for them. But, Reese, you got to consider. I got them all broke in for you already. Oh! Oh, oh you. Oh, now, Reese. Oh, Reese. Chad. So help me. I can get my hands on you. I'll, I'll make you eat, eat these boots. <laughs>